Hello, my friends. I'm going to get started in just a moment. So I made a post a little while ago. And by the way, if you like this stuff, I've got tons more about health, healing, happiness, and other cool things on my website at TomBerkenmeyer.com. Take out the space, just like it's spelled on social media, TomBerkenmeyer.com. So we've got our first four viewers already, and I just started this thing like 10 seconds ago. I'm going to get started in less than half a minute from now. So I made this post on my social media, Facebook, Remedies for Healing. Do you have a favorite, and how has it helped you? And there's quite a few responses that I thought were extremely helpful. And a lot of people were watching this, and they got a lot of really valuable information from them that has helped them to heal from various problems. And also people that know people that just wanted to share it and pass it on to other people they knew that were having various problems that this has helped them a lot. So I wanted to make a video even more fun, a live feed so that we can interact together as I'm going through these remedies that's been shared by you. So I love you for that, for participating and not being a bump on a log, but actually attributing, taking from the table, but adding something to the table as well. It's so valuable to be a student and a teacher. So let's get started. Remedies for healing. Do you have a favorite? How does it help you? I got my laptop right here, and that's why you see me looking this way and this way. So the first response <laughs> by my friend Emily, she says, music. She didn't go into how it helps her heal, but I think all of us understand that. So music is certainly wonderful. And I've got a lot of that on my website, musicalorgasms.org, as an orgasm. That's why I bought the title. You can't forget it. Musical orgas musicalorgasms.org, if you like free music. <laughs> it's all mine. Um, let's see here. One moment clicking around on a few things while I go through this. And a lot of these are going to be repeats, so that's probably when you'll see me pausing is when I'm going by repeat stuff. Okay, here's one by my friend Dawn. This is more of a psychological healing thing. She says her healing has been emotional. Hey, Tracy. Hi, Liz. My friend Dawn says her healing has been more emotional. She says learning not to let yourself be a victim. Yes, people can be a-holes. They can hurt you but you control what happens from there. Wise words. You have the power. Deal with the emotions. Allow yourself to feel hurt, angry, sad, depressed, lost, grieved. Then move forward. Learn. Meditate. Positive self-talk. Forgiveness, whether it be forgiving yourself, forgiving those who hurt you, or both. You have to cut the pain loose through, or you have to cut the pain loose, or it will anchor itself to you forever, and you will always be the victim. That's really great advice. And I like the part about allowing yourself the freedom to just uh, stew in it for a moment. But I think it's really important to give um, yourself a timeline or a deadline if something is emotionally really troubling you. Maybe it's okay for five minutes to feel that, but no more. After that, you really have to move on and release that from you, or life is very difficult at that point. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Honorine. Hi, Liz. Hi, Tracy. Natalie says your oils help you. Yes, essential oils are up and coming. Those are pretty awesome. Uh, my friend, Speaking of oils, my friend Vanessa does doTERRA. I've got friends that do Young Living Essential Oils. Blessed to be an advocate of all of them, healing many everyday ailments. Best ever. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Acupuncture. i got a friend that loves acupuncture. It was just a few years ago I started learning about acupuncture therapy. And acupuncture can actually help solve any problem from a physical problem to a health problem to an emotional problem. I even know people that successfully for the first time in their lives quit smoking cigarettes because of acupuncture therapy. That was like the thing that did it for them. I had no idea it could help with that, but apparently it can, as well as disease and other psychological triggers, as well as tangible and intangible problems as well. Acupuncture is pretty neat. Uh, my friend Christine says... She changed her eating habits for real. Stop alcohol. <laughs> so my friend Christina says, stop drinking alcohol and change your eating habits. It's common sense, but we can break it down from there into something more meaningful. Speaking of that, my friend Misty says, oregano oil, coconut oil, cilantro, Epsom salt, massage music, and no stinking thinking. So she's practicing positive thoughts. Oregano oil, by the way, is the most powerful antibiotic on the planet. It's even more powerful than the antibiotics that are pharmaceutical graded. And with that, I have to say a disclaimer. You take personal responsibility for yourself and do your own research. 
but I'm just letting you know, oregano oil, oil of oregano is actually more potent of an antibiotic than the pharmaceutical graded stuff. But you do your own research and be responsible. Uh, let's see, Reiki. Some people are saying Reiki, or is it Reiki? I don't know if it's Reiki or Reiki. Hands on healing, garlic, sleep, music, laughter, hugs. So look into Reiki. I know a lot of people that just love Reiki. They seem to get a lot of benefit from it. Um, hands on healing, just the simple hugging of somebody. The chemicals from the brain that are that are healing. And in today's society, it's more isolated than ever before. Even our public school teachers are, in a lot of areas, they are barred and banned from hugging their students because there's one or two bad teachers that will take advantage and sexually exploit children, which is horrible. Those teachers need to be dealt with, but to make laws that you know, across the board, you cannot hug a student anymore. That's awful. But that's just one example. Hugging is very healing. Uh, garlic. Garlic is a very powerful anti-fungus, antibiotic, antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, and sleep, of course. Um, the growth hormone only releases chemicals that helps you heal and recover from the day's events when you're in deep sleep. So sleep is, you can't even talk about health unless you have really good sleep every night. Um, in fact, you could be doing a lot of other things right, but if you don't get good sleep every night, then not allowing your body to release growth hormone, which only happens in deep sleep, you could negate all the other great things that you're doing. So sleep has to be a part of that. And of course, laughter. My friend Anne-Marie says laughter releases chemicals from the brain that are very healing too. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Maureen. Seven more people just joined us. Welcome. Okay. Let's see what other people have to say here. An EFT practitioner. I don't know what that is, but that's something you can all Google if you wish. EFT practitioner. My friend Linda says it's easy to learn and is the people's medicine. I believe we could teach this in schools and have much happier children. Well, that's quite a claim. Definitely worth looking into. Meditation. Several people say meditation. Oh, let's see. Some people getting wordy with their responses here, but that's okay. More people saying Reiki. So Reiki is pretty popular. <laughs> My friend Myla says, learning about narcissism and how to not be a victim of it. I know several people that have been a victim of that, and boy, they've all got these tremendous stories. But one thing that is, well, another thing that is common between all of them is they know how to recognize it now which can certainly be a healing thing. Even somebody commented to that person saying, best one so far. Oh, my friend Deb says, exercise, great for lots of things. Yeah, one of those common sense ideas, eat right, exercise, sleep, and those are certainly very healing daily activities. I hear something interesting. My friend Cheryl says, relaxation with 528 HZ, the love vibration and miracle frequency. I've read a little bit about frequencies and sound and vibration and how it can heal people. And it seems to be something that's observed and measured, which basically is science. It's good evidence. So 528 HZ, the love vibration and miracle frequency. That's something you can, you can Google to look up, see how you might be able to implement that yourself. Let's see what else is being shared here. There's quite a few comments, so it's going to be a while to go through them all. But you might find one or two good things that I'm reading to you. Um, hi, Nicole. Hi, Joy. Pro tandem, it saved my life. Joy, I've got another friend who loves pro tandem. She says a lot of amazing things about it. So a high-quality source of pro tandem seems to be a really good thing. So thanks for sharing that, Joy. Uh, Rick says, eating celery to regulate blood or black olives for blood pressure. I never researched black olives for blood pressure. That's worth looking into. Um, celery certainly does help regulate blood sugar. Celery is also a, probably nature's best form of natural salt, sodium, the kind of sodium that actually makes strong bones and regulates blood pressure versus the table salt that raises blood pressure. Big difference. Natalie says sunshine in the water makes her happy. Yeah, me too. I'm a water baby for sure, and I love the sun. Elisa, I would like to introduce you to your space bar. Put spaces between your words, please, when you type them out. And thanks for sharing the video, by the way. Uh, let's
let's see. My friend Barbara, I'll just read this. She says, what I'm about to post is not for curing anything, but rather just like stuff that has helped me get through things. Number one, YouTube tutorials or apps for guided meditation. Speaking of guided meditation, I've got a friend I want to do some guided meditation videos with at least one or two. Hopefully that will happen. Number two, bananas to calm me down when my illness spikes up bad. She didn't specify the illness. Number three, being around nice people and nice atmosphere. Absolutely. Number four, Facebook networking. It has kept me sane, but I'm a rare case because I am sick. Most people think Facebook is just leisure. For me, it's almost a lifeline because I lack social interaction elsewhere. Yeah, I'm kind of in that same boat too. Five, getting out in the fresh air when able. Six, social interaction wherever possible, mutual support. Seven, ice cubes if I'm in distress. It's like they send a shock to my system to jolt me out of what I'm going through and lower my heart rate. It has helped me whether it helped my placebo effect or not. I'm not sure. Hmm, ice cubes. Interesting. Hi, Krista. Nice to see you. Let's see here. Jiu-jitsu. I got a friend that does jiu-jitsu. But again, jiu-jitsu, whatever your form of moving around is, something that gets the heart rate and lungs going, it's good. This person likes jiu-jitsu. Uh, my friend Sandy says she loves aromatherapies, massage, deep breathing, meditation. My friend Cody says detoxification. Well, that can take in many forms. She wasn't specific there. My friend Heather says when you find something for pain, let me know. Well, let's see here. My friend Kathleen says about 10 months ago I was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and an autoimmune disease with high levels of inflammation. I suspected that I had the best way to repair the, the best way to repair the leaky gut is to give the, the digestive tract a break. So I have been eating once a day. I don't know if that's going to be the best advice. Maybe mind what you eat many times throughout the day. Uh, it gives the digestive tract a break. That allows for the intestinal wall to heal, and it also helps your IBS. I no longer have any red meat. There we go. I no longer have any red meat, milk, sugar, or gluten. I take boswala, turmeric, vitamin D3, digestive enzymes, and probiotics. However, the most effective thing in my health regimen has been eating only once a day and a green smoothie. I also drink a fermented non-caffeinated tea instead of coffee. I have a, uh, way more energy than eating three meals a day, and over the past two months, I lost eight pounds and I feel better than I have in over a year and of course yoga and meditation huge lots of great tips in there I'm still not sure about the eating once a day thing but man she did give a lot of tips just for gut health in general I don't know if you know this but 80% of your immune system is in the gut so you have to have a healthy gut Rick says my wife and I got a new beauty uh, mattress and a memory foam pillow and definitely get a better night's sleep. So earlier we were talking about that, um, sleeping good. You can't even talk about good health unless you get a good night's sleep. If that means getting a new mattress, so be it. If it means falling asleep to aromatherapies or whatever, so be it. Because when you're in a deep sleep, that's the only time your brain releases growth hormone. And that's what helps you recover from the day on a daily basis and heal and repair. So you have to get a good night's sleep and do whatever it takes to do that. See now. I'm reading a lot of repeats from other people. Vitamin C. My friend Patricia says vitamin vitamin C helps in so many ways. Yeah, you can actually look into mega dosing on vitamin C. It's virtually impossible to overdose on a water soluble vitamin, which vitamin C is water soluble. So you get a high quality, well sourced vi natural vitamin C. And you can, you know, Google research mega dosing on vitamin C. And that does help in so many ways, as Patricia said. Uh, my friend Tanya says, I suffer from anxiety. So, ASMR videos have been a godsend. I don't know what ASMR is, something worth Googling. I had anxiety attack yesterday, so I went into a spiritual store and browsed around breathing in the incense and made a few purchases and within less than a minute being in that store my attack went away so she was having an 
anxiety attack in less than a minute. Changing to the right environment in less than one minute, her anxiety went away. That says something about the environment, right? Uh, currently has a sinus infection, treating it with colloidal silver. So a sinus, a sinus infection, my friend Tammy is relieving herself from her sinus infection of colloidal silver and elderberry is a family staple as well as coconut oil. Good to know. Uh, another person says Reiki. Reiki is pretty popular here. Moving right along. Speaking of anxiety, which I just went over, my friend Jacqueline uses Kava, K-A-V-A. It's K-A-V-A for anxiety. I don't know what Kava is, but it's something else you can Google. Planted a seed, right? Find out what your body is lacking in the way of nutrients. Give it back what it needs and it will heal itself. Very good general advice from my friend Alyssa. And you may not be able to find out what your body is lacking by way of nutrients without a very comprehensive blood panel. And in my opinion, you go to a, a medical doctor for a, a comprehensive blood panel, a full blood panel, and then you take the results of that to a holistic doctor or a naturopathic doctor, and they're going to be able to help you fill in those nutrient gaps. It's a perfect ex example of a marriage that should be between medical doctors and naturopathic doctors, but medical doctors do not want to cooperate in that, so you need to make that marriage happen yourself, but it's great advice. Vera says, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Everyone knows about that. Ah, my friend Patricia says, lemon and honey for colds or a cough. Squeeze a lemon into a cup and add one tablespoon of honey and mix. Take it all and repeat two times a day. It really helps calm a cough and cold symptoms. I would say more than two times a day. I'd say every couple of hours, like maybe between four and six times a day. And you can add, if you can, if you like, some cayenne pepper to the lemon and honey, and that'll add even more. Hiking, yoga, music, green tea, music, breathing exercises, just very simple stuff I'm reading from a lot of other people. Memory loss, finding, and fish oil. Yes, the omega-3s from fish oil actually helps with cognitive thought as well as memory. Oh, let's see here. Herbal teas, someone says. Continuing to scroll. Puppies. <laughs> I guess we could say kittens too, right? Everyone knows that's healing. My friend Ina says zinc, 50 milligrams. A thousand of vitamin C every four hours for cold-like symptoms. It really works 24 to 48 hours. Very true. Look up megadosing vitamin C or a vitamin C flush. Google vitamin C flush. It's awesome. It knocks just about anything out. My friend Candy says, basic general advice is very good advice. Whole foods, plant-based. So I'll say plant-based whole food nutrition on it. That's a daily thing. And for Lyme disease, subtract sugar and caffeine and add a lot of pickled and fermented foods and chia seeds in your water or juices. Not just for Lyme disease, whether, you know, anything you've got going on, or even if you're totally healthy and you just want to prevent, it should be whole food, plant-based, whole food nutrition, and don't add any sugar. Subtract sugar and caffeine. And the pickled and fermented foods goes to your gut health, which 80% of your immune system is in your gut health, and chia seeds is a superfood. And water, that should be like for anybody, not just somebody with Lyme disease, but any disease. And even if you're totally healthy and you just want prevention, that's all great advice. It's like there's something called the diabetes diet that's it should be renamed the the diet for humans, right? <laughs> Not just diabetes, but for people. Um, let's see here. I have a friend who likes to uh, let's see here. She meditates while sitting with a blue candle, something about the color blue. I haven't researched that, but you can Google that and see what that does and see if you feel anything. Apparently it's a, a Swedish Viking heritage to meditate with a blue candle. Pretty cool. Barley grass juice powder. Hmm. My friend Miera says barley grass. She doesn't say anything else about it, 
but what I know about barley grass and juice, and grass in general, lots of chlorophyll, it oxygenates the blood, and if you've got oxygenated blood, you should have a pretty good pH balance. With a good pH balance, um, your body should do very well with fighting off any disease or preventing any disease. Uh, my friend Kimberly says, eating low histamine foods that are super clean and keeping stress and anxiety as minimal as possible. Good advice. <laughs> and Michelle says, why would you want a remedy for being healed? Michelle, why would you ask such a question? Everyone wants to be healed from something. That's really weird. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hey, Christine. Hey, Rick. Hey, Marsha. Hi, Michelle. Who else is here? Vicky, Lisa, Erica, Liz. And Liz says she loved the home hyperthemia processed. She healed from Lyme, of course, with herbs, diet, rest, sunshine, and various other things. So a lifestyle, basically. Of course, it's the lifestyle. It's no silver bullet. It's a lifestyle. Uh, let's see. My friend Ina says fasting for detox. A different Ina. I've got two friends named Ina. Maybe more, but two that I can think of off the top of my head. She, I guess she's a big detoxer. Okay, I'm just going to read this whole one because this is kind of interesting. Uh, Charles says he's been a lifelong student and believer in the healing properties of magnetic fields and magnets. Interesting. He also consumes various doses of homemade blackberry wine. Interesting. However, alcohol in any consumption is bad for you, but there could be other things in the wine that's good for you, like the berries, the blackberry, but then you could just have blackberry without the alcohol. So just eat blackberries, even healthier. So a step up from that. Uh, let's see. Another person, this is the second person I've seen list ice as a remedy for pain. Huh. And a little more about that for my friend Christy. She just made an ice pack and applied essential oils to her back. Uh, she was involved in a car accident the other day. There is a video I just posted. Wow, no kidding. So ice packs and essential oils to relieve pain. Interesting. Nice. Liz says, Reservatrol that's super concentrated is awesome. No alcohol. Good to know. And gratitude. Gratitude is healing. Swap out expectations for gratitude and you can get rid of stress, which is also healing. Double positive for healing. My friend Elizabeth, well, she's naming off some foods, but garlic, cinnamon. Oh. Son, her son now asks for it as soon as he feels a stomach or a throat or flu symptoms. It always worked instantly. So for stomach or throat and flu-like symptoms, garlic, cinnamon, lemon, ginger tea, anything in that combination is good. It's also very blood sugar friendly too, especially the cinnamon is super for the pancreas, which regulates blood sugar. Amanda says vitamin D. Ooh, I'm going to read this whole thing right here about my friend Jennifer. Something about cabbage. Cabbage is number three, by the way, on the most potent fighters against cancer. So we eat cabbage on a regular basis. But my friend Jennifer says, I used warmed up cabbage leaves on my ankle when I tore all the tendons. Toes touched my shin. All oh, your toes touched your shin. Oh my God. It worked really well to soothe and bring down the swelling. No kidding. I have used a drop of veggie oil in a warm glass of water to heat it up with a dash of pepper and applied the oil to a cotton ball then put it in my ear for a bad earache. I am not sure how good it is to put pepper in your ear. Don't use a lot if you try it, but it works for me. Wow. Now that's different. I'm not going to read that over again, but if you want to, once this is posted, just Jot down the timestamp of this live feed. You can go back and watch it. Let's see here. Hello, new viewers. Good to see you. Moving right along. My friend Janelle says, eating foods with antioxidants and anti-inflammatories. Exercise. 
uh, changed her mind to a positive mind. Uh, our minds are so powerful, meditation, stretching, and breathing techniques went off all pharmaceuticals and essential oils and supplements changed her life completely. So she's basically the lifestyle. It's not a silver bullet. It's, it's everything. It's her physical activity, how she thinks, what she puts into her mouth, all of it. Oh, let's see here. Reiki and crystal healing has transformed me into my soul self. So if you have a great energy attachment towards crystals and so forth, some people do, and they do really well with that. <laughs> okay, here's something, my friend Jody. This is different. We haven't seen this yet. When you get bad gas between your chest and you aren't sure if it is a gas or a heart attack, grab a bottle of water and jam the entire bottle down. Within one minute, you'll begin burping and breaking up all that pain if it's gas. If it doesn't go away, then it's time to go to the ER. But if it's that painful gas, you will be amazed how fast it will be gone with a simple home remedy. That is a simple home remedy. Thank you for sharing that, Jody. Hi, Joanne. Nice to see you. Oh, let's see here. <laughs> I was waiting for this one. My friend Deb says, for healing medical cannabis all the way. Hopefully that will be allowed federally soon. That would be wonderful. My friend Julie says, cranial sacral therapy was a huge help for a traumatic brain injury. I've read some wonderful things about cranial sacral therapy. Uh, from what I hear, unfortunately, that's one of the more costly remedies, but for people that can do it, I've heard it's nothing short of a godsend. So look into that. My friend Lynn says, nasal irrigation changed my life. I have not heard of that before. Something to Google, nasal irrigation. I would imagine that's for people, maybe it's hard to breathe or you get a lot of sinus problems, a lot of colds, nasal irrigation. Interesting. My friend Erica says, fresh air and sunshine, 1950s. I don't know. <laughs> but it's good advice, good generalized advice. Uh, and the last one that I have now, Kathleen Castellano says, Sleeping is mine, and vitamins and herbal tea, and then extra vitamin D for extra help. Also do some exercises tailored to my needs and what I can and cannot do. Also, I say I need to not have this, but sometimes that alone doesn't work, so I pray very hard for everyone else and for my behalf, or and for myself. Surround my life with positive people. Cool. So I've read through all of them. Hi, Kimberly. Nice to see you. I just basically ended this. It's done. I read through everything. However, I will have this on my Facebook timeline, like right uh, when I click finish on this live broadcast. Facebook will have it on my timeline like seconds later. Facebook is really good at that. And then you can go back and watch everything that I that I just went through. Okay. Well, everyone, I'm going to end this now unless you have a question or something you want me to expand upon, now is the time to ask for that before I stop the live feed. And I've also got my website, tomberkenmeyer.com. Take out the space, spelled just like you see here on social media, tomberkenmeyer.com. I've got literally thousands of videos, thousands of them, over 2,000. And hundreds and hundreds of blog posts, all to do with health, healing, happiness, positive mindset stuff, freedom, financial freedom, and all kinds of wonderful things. You'll never run out of content there because I add to it regularly. Hi, Janelle. Janelle, you're one of the people I just read from when you contributed to that particular thread that I made. <laughs> so if you want to go back and uh, hear me cite your name and what you contributed, You'll be able to do that as soon as this is posted to my Facebook timeline, which is going to be very shortly, because I think I'm going to end this right now. I just read through all, all of the comments on that thread. And I don't see anybody with any questions or anything you want me to expand on or talk about or anything. So I think that about does it for this live feed. Thanks, everyone, for showing up. And to all of you 
who participated. In other words, to all of you that didn't just take from the table, but you participated in adding to the table for people to take from as well as taking something valuable for yourself, I appreciate you very much. And to those of you that are not contributing to the table, but just taking from it, I want you to commit yourself to adding to the table. Whatever it is that you know that is beneficial to you, I guarantee you there's somebody else there it would be beneficial for as well. So don't be shy to contribute to the table of value and benefit, because everybody gets value from that in some way or another, okay? We're all students and teachers, so let's act like that and be that genuinely. Bye, everyone. Bye for now. Till the next video. Coming soon. Mwah. And please share this. Because I know that I've got some friends who would deeply benefit from the information shared in this live feed. Okay? Bye for now.